Yeah. Oh, this has been a while. It's been a long while, you guys. It's been a long time. And I know you're wondering why the channel is called Tamisha Nicole instead of Tammy and Willis. Um, disclaimer, I've already <laughs> had one shot, but I haven't ate since like 10 a.m. So, um, we'll get into that eventually. <laughs> But right now though, I'm about to do this Q&A. You guys, I had you guys ask me some questions on Instagram. Basically just anything you wanna know, I'm here to answer. If the question was not asked, I will not be answering it. Maybe I'll do a part two. Um, if you guys don't hear the answers or the things that you're wondering on here, then tune in, follow me on Instagram, underscore Tammy with four M's and and next time you get your shot to ask me a question, take it because I'm not answering anything that's not asked. Um, eventually I'll do a life update, but this is just the opening basically to the new beginning. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm kind of nervous only because it's been a while and this is my first time not my first time doing a YouTube video, obviously, and I did start my other personal channel, same name, but I made this one mine, so you guys don't go to waste, this channel doesn't go to waste, and you know, our channel is monetized and everything like that, so I'm going to just keep giving you guys the content, because that's what I want to do, like, I still love y'all, I'm still here, it's been about a good month, which is so long, maybe two months. And um, we're gonna get into this q and I have my friend here, her name is Tania, and she's gonna be asking me some questions, um, well, asking the questions that you guys asked. She has the screenshots, let me see. Yes, she has the screenshots on here from the Instagram questions. Mm -hmm. And uh, Callie's bribing me. Fruit snacks, this is the only way I can get her quiet, so that's what we're about to be doing. Yeah, that's too bad. Too bad. Okay, go over there and sit down and watch your movie, baby. Okay. I'm getting hot already. Like, this is <laughs> like one shot, but I'm about to take another one for y'all. So I'm not, um. You take a shot. Y'all know why the fuck you take shots. These are good questions. I love these questions, actually. I'm ready. I'm I'm gonna answer everything. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna um You ready for the first question? Yeah, wait. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make this a truth or drink because I was going to. I'm only taking these shots so I can loosen up and I'm not being a stickler with y'all or dry and giving y'all the energy that y'all need just because this is the first video. They I'm talking you. too much, huh? They're gonna love you. Okay. Let me puff this hookah because y'all know I got the hookah in my rotation. Okay, first question. Wait, wait, wait. Right. Okay, hold on. Shut me right down. Okay. Q and A, twenty twenty one. Let's get it, child. Let's get it. Let's go. I'm ready. Okay, first question. Do you plan on living in Texas for good? If not, what's your next stop? Um, I said I'm gonna be honest, but y'all know I don't like to really tell my business before I do it. So, do I plan on living in Texas? I don't know. I honestly cannot even tell y'all that. Honestly, I love it here, but I will say that I am. I will say that I am considering relocating and what was the same word what's your next stop if you do i don't know yet you never know if you had a chance to meet one male and one female celebrity who would they be and why if i had a chance to meet one male and female celebrity female 
It would be Carrie Hilson. Um, that's my role model, y'all. I look up to her. I just love the way that she carries herself, the way that she stay out the way. And um, yeah, I, I meet her. And then male, Bryson Tiller. Just cause that's, <laughs> that's my fave, like all time. So. Okay, Carrie Hilson and Bryson. Okay. Yeah. Is it hot girl summer this summer or no? Hot girl summer this summer. Oh. oh, by the looks of the Casamigos bottle. Um. By the looks of the Casamigos bottle. I don't drink this, y'all. My friend got the light. I usually get the darker ones, but it'll do. But <laughs> hot girl summer this summer, it just depends on what your definition of hot girl summer is. If it's my definition, <laughs> Callie's going to be talking, y'all. I hope y'all don't mind because I'm, I'm not about to just keep telling her to be quiet. But... Getting this money, focusing on yourself, self-love, self-respect, and just happiness, and then yes, it'll be a hot girl summer this summer. Okay, a bit of an emotional question. A what question? Emotional. Okay. What's it like being a young mom living in a big city? Being a young mom living in a big city, it's crazy as hell. Oh my um, God, I wish we had some violin. I know. <laughs> but it's not sad. Yeah, that's but be. It's hard, I'm not gonna lie. It's hard, but I'm a city girl. I love being in the city. I would not, like right now, being a young parent, I would not move to a rural area. I love the city. Like, I love the vibe. I love the energy. I love being around people. As long as it's a good area. Um, but being a mom in a big city, it's crazy because people are crazy. And you just yes. be having anxiety as being a parent. And just, it'd be a lot going on after the pandemic or during. If, if you consider it still going on, but we ain't going to touch on that. But... It's just be a lot going on in the world right now. So living in the mm -hmm. city is crazy, especially being away from family, not having nobody else around you. It definitely gets a little chaotic, if that answers the question. Mm -hmm. What's the biggest risk you've taken in your life? My biggest risk, risk that I've taken is moving away from my hometown with a nine month old. Mm, makes sense. That was the biggest risk I took. And it was completely worth it. And that's when I moved to Arizona. So I did it again. Oh. Obviously she wasn't nine she wasn't nine months when I moved. She was one. Or yeah. Okay. Oh oh basically two, but she was one when I moved to Houston, so that was the biggest risk, moving from Indianapolis to Arizona with a newborn. Damn, that is a big risk. Yeah. I would have been scared. Nobody there, like what? So. Proud of you. Thank you. Um, hmm. 2022 goals. Top three. I don't share my goals, y'all, but I'm gonna give y'all a vague, very vague, a vague answer on that. Um, more money. Um, um, just working on myself. That's, I mean, that's the goal right now, but shit, when do you ever stop working on yourself? And um, I'm really trying to execute business ideas. So that's my top three, 2022. Okay. Um, how long does your mink lashes last you? Um, with the fill, I go every two weeks. They last me two weeks, I need a fill in. But if I just don't get a fill, they'll last me about three weeks, but they'll be like this. Barely the fuck on. <laughs> Barely there, but I go every two weeks, though. Okay. 
Um, are you doing any updated house tour? I do need to. I have not finished, but it's definitely so much more than the empty house tour I did um, the same day or the day after we moved in here. Um, it, yeah, it was empty as fuck, and it was empty for a while. But as we, as we, as I don't know if I should refer to we or I, but it was a we thing. As we were um, trying to get all of our stuff in here, we were telling y'all that it takes time. So it's definitely a lot more in here than it was, than it was nothing. So I, I guess I could give y'all that at what it is now, if that's what y'all want. So comment down below if that's what y'all want, if y'all want to see. Cause it's like basically done. It's only like a few little things that I still want in here, but for the most part it's done. So I can give y'all that. What is your ethnicity? I'm African American, black, fully black. Well, my granny was full Cherokee, Indian. My great great grandma. So I I have a little bit of that in me, but other than that, I'm black, baby. Mommy and daddy black. Black lives matter. Okay. Um. Okay, we just want to ask this question because it's everybody's. What is your relationship status? Or what is your dating life like? Pick your poison. Um, I'll answer both. My relationship status is single. I am sing Mommy. single. Date my dating life is Mommy. Go say it. I'm too drunk. I done took three shots. My dating life is, um, <laughs> my dating life is very interesting. I'll just say that it's very interesting. You know? I'm enjoying myself. I'm gonna just keep it all the way honest with y'all. I am dating, but you would never know who. <laughs> okay, next. All right. Should we wait, wait. I keep hooking every time you ask the question. <laughs> I hope they can hear you. Okay. All right. Should we be expecting something big coming soon? Always. You should always expect something big coming from me. Like, not to not to pop my shit, but I'm a little tipsy right now, so I'm gonna pop my shit. But. Y'all know that I don't do nothing, nothing less. She won't let me be great every single time. She won't let me be great. Like she just be, that just be telling me that I don't need to pop my shit. But yeah, you should be expecting something big from me. Always, I'm always working. I'm always grinding. I'm always thinking about what's next. And when I'm thinking about what's next, it's never anything little or mediocre. So yeah. Period. Go big or go home. When are you coming back to Indianapolis? When am I coming back to Indianapolis? Um, what to visit? I don't know. I do that on the humble. Whenever, whenever I get the urge to go back home or see my family, I come back home and see my family. But I don't really plan to go back home. It's just whenever what? I. Okay. Whenever I have the urge to. Thank you. Where do you see yourself in the next five what years? That? In the next five years, I see myself okay. rich as fuck. <laughs> rich as fuck. Very wealthy. Um, not in Houston. Um, still one child. <laughs> I don't plan on having any more kids. Um... I don't know. Those are the only things I really have control over. So those are the things I can say where I see myself in five years. Okay. Owning businesses, making money, happy, and living the lavish life that I so rightfully deserve. <laughs> okay. Basically the American dream. It's not the but, American dream. <laughs> Fuck the American no, dream. Man. 
My dream. The fuck? Bucket list for the summer. My bucket list? Mm -hmm. I want to go to Bali. I want to go to Tulum. I want to go to Bali so bad. Yes, like I wanna so I, I wanna do the rose petals in the tub with the picture with the wooden tray with the food, like mm -hmm. flowers, all that shit. Stay in the forest, even though I'll probably be terrified. I wanna do that so bad. Um I also wanna go to Canada. Um, so I need to get my passport because I don't have that. And what else for the summer? Um It's all about traveling, huh? That's really it. I, I'm not jumping on no plane. I'm not doing no crazy shit like that. So that's really it for the summer. What? <laughs> she got a text message, you guys. No, I forgot to. What? Um, what made you start YouTube? Um, I, I started YouTube because back in my hometown i just was always the instagram taking pictures sharing my life you know doing the social media thing so being in the relationship it was like it just made sense because so many people were invested in the relationship that i wanted to give more and i'm a social person so Sharing it, capturing the moment, and being open with you guys is like just something that I was very interested in doing. So that's pretty much what made me start doing YouTube um, and watching other people's channels and feeling like I could do that because my life is interesting, which is so much more interesting now. I have so many things that I could share with y'all. I'm so mad. I'm so mad that I had haven't. I'm so mad that I haven't been blogging, but I've been doing so much stuff. But after this video, after this video, y'all coming with me every day. Every time I do something, she fried. Every time I do something, y'all coming with me. So we broke the ice with this video. So vlogs, all that. Coming soon. How many new things do you try to learn a week? Somebody asked that. Mm -hmm. It's the liquor, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm always one to learn, so I mean, it's not really trying, trying to learn a certain number or anything like that. I don't know. Shit. <laughs> I'm always trying to learn something, so however many things come to me in a day is what I, oh, what they said, a week? Mm -hmm. However many new things come to me in a week, I'll try to learn that. I don't, I don't really know, you guys. I don't really know that. <laughs> <laughs> Answer. Um, last question. How do you spend your free time? Lately, I've been spending my free time traveling, hanging out, enjoying myself, being around good company um, and focusing on bettering myself. That's really just being happy. That's really how I spend my free time. That was all the questions? Yeah. So most of them are like the same question people ask me. What? I am I single? And where are you going from? Are you staying in Texas? Like it's literally the same question. I'm I'm here in Texas right now. I don't know where I'll be. I don't know what the future holds. I'm a very impulsive person, so I do have an urge to leave. But we'll just see where that goes. I kind of just go with the flow. Y'all know I always put God first, so whatever is put on my heart for me to do, I just go with it. I really don't be having plans. In this thing called life, I kind of just go with it, try to make the most responsive, I say responsive, responsible and um, right choices and do it the right way. So but other than that, I kind of just go with the flow. Whatever comes my way, whatever is placed on my heart to do and I feel like I need to do it, I'm going to do it. So I guess that wraps up this Q&A. And uh, I guess I can take another shot for the freaking road. Shot o'clock. Comment down below if y'all are excited for 
videos if y'all how y'all feeling about this being my channel um i monetize so these videos is about to be dropping i was kind of nervous it just took me a while to do this first video y'all because y'all know life is crazy and you gotta balance out real life before you really get on some social media and um play the social media games so that's what i was doing but Comment down below how y'all feel about this channel, what y'all want to see, if y'all are going to unsubscribe because it's just me, I don't know, but me and Callie, really I'm not going to put Callie on this channel at all, it's really going to just be me when I'm in my free time. Um, I still have the other channel that is about, you know, being a parent, being motherhood, focusing more on me, but this channel, I really don't know what I'm going to make, it's kind of just going to be... When I do things, when I talk to y'all, just sharing experiences and sharing life, um, what I'm doing, where I'm at. And um, I hope you guys look forward to it. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I can't wait to see y'all in the next one. If you got a bottle, take a shot. It's only 440, but it's five o'clock somewhere. It's five o'clock here, but shit. Take a shot. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Callie's getting loud. Thank you guys for watching this video, tuning in. Um, like, comment, like, comment, share, and subscribe as always. Let me know how you... Um, Feel, DM me, ideas, different things you guys want to see. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And thank you, Tania, for asking my questions for me. So, that no wraps problem. it up.